welcome back to the channel critical overlord here so in this video i know it's a week overdue because this topic came out last week but we are going to dive into my thoughts on the upcoming sci-fi series uh based on the child's play series titled chucky so we knew this was coming a long time ago but we didn't have like an official order of the series until just last week sci-fi has ordered the series to their network uh, there is no word on when exactly this series will be debuting. I'm expecting it to debut sometime later this year, uh, if not early 2021. Uh, given the fact that the, based on the information, it seems like the pilot, pilot is something that's in the works or something that's already been done. Um, I would expect this series to be here before the end of the year, hopefully. But um, getting into details, what I thought was interesting about this was how Don Mancini he is involved in it and they're what they're doing with this is I think this is going to be a good thing in regards to like spending more time with the characters uh, that we see with the TV series versus the film series because when you have a TV series you're able to build on things more you get more character development you have more time for things to be fleshed out and uh, told over a period of time because you're not doing a movie you're doing a series um, not movies or series as well a tv series rather uh in this in this upcoming tv show apparently what the synopsis is going to be is um an american town is going to find itself embro embroiled in chaos after a vintage chucky doll turns up at a suburban yard sale as a series of murders begin to unfold exposing the town's secrets and hypocrisies enemies and allies from chucky's past threaten to reveal the truth behind the murders um Speaking to that, sounds like this movie is going to be taking place right after, um, not right after, but a few years down the road from Cult of Chucky. I believe that is what is going to happen. It's going to be set a few years later from Cult of Chucky. Uh, we're going to pick up with, I don't know which Chucky we're even going to be following. Are we going to be following the exact Chucky? Because if I'm recalling correctly, the real Chucky, he or the Chucky we all know, he's at Andy's house with his head uh his head is at Andy's house, and the last thing we know is that Kyle uh, visited that, and she took that. She took. She visited Chucky at the end of Cult of Chucky, and there was a scene there in the mid in in the midst of the credits. My issue is this is. So, are we going to have uh, that Chucky, or are we going to have one of those uh, one of those replicas that he has? that he managed to create he he now has like an army of chucky dolls where he, he split his soul into so many other dolls so i guess they're all chucky but you know what i'm saying the og chucky it seems like he's done um i think they're going to be following a one of those other dolls that he split his soul into and then what i also liked that i saw was that we're going to be dwelling into the uh the origins a bit of charles lee ray um man don mancini who has been uh, behind these films ever since the original and taken over as director and the writer for a lot of the more recent ones he did promise to remain faithful to what has made the freckle face toy a frequently frightening icon of pop culture for so long he also has acknowledged that the television format allows for the instantly recognizable character to be examined with new depth viewers will find out for themselves if chucky is as served in a small screen setting uh, so of course that's going to be up to us yes if we actually feel like uh taking chucky to the small screen was what was best i do personally feel like the making all these movies going forward after cult of chucky would have been a bit tedious so i'm i'm kind of glad that um we are going to get something different from chucky um it was nice to have chucky come back with a film in 2013 but then after cult of chucky i'm kind of like i don't want any more chucky movies so i'm glad um and i'm interested to see what they will do with this tv series and then speaking into going over their origins with Charles Lee Ray. It looks like they're going to be going into his childhood to kind of get into why he is the way he is and what led him to becoming obsessed with the voodoo and how he ended up in the dog. We all know how he ended up in the dog, but I feel like they're going to be going into his origins in regards to his childhood and everything a bit more. And maybe the town that we go to is going to be his hometown. Um, but anyway, what I'm, what I'm thinking about this is that I just don't really care or think we need to know all of this stuff about these icons. Like, I can appreciate the fact that we're going to find out more and I'm excited about it, but at the, at the end of the day, if it's going to make me feel some type of way about him, make him a sympathetic character, yes, that is in, that's still something that's interesting and I'm excited to see it, but I don't necessarily want to. I don't, I don't need to see it. I don't need to know all these other details. I just need to know that Charles Lee Ray is clearly insane 
Um, what led to all of that? I guess it's going to be interesting to see what they come up with, but I, I really don't think we need to know all that. But I'm excited to see how they develop this character further. I'm looking forward to this TV series. Let me know what you guys think about it down in the comment section below. What stars do you think are going to return in this series? If you haven't already, make sure you subscribe and turn on post notifications so you never miss a video. And then also, again, in the comment section, I'm leaving a link to a Facebook group, a link to a Facebook group that I have started. There is a member of the Jeepers Creepers 3 cast uh, when it was titled Cathedral. Uh, he is answering any and all questions in the post that I have tagged him in. If you join that group and comment any questions below in that post, he will get back to you with answers. Um, with that all being said, uh, make sure you again subscribe, turn on post notifications so you never miss a video. In the description, I'll have links to all my social media accounts, my Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram. You can message me there to let me know if there's any movies, news, or reviews you would like me to cover in the future. With all that in mind, guys, I will see you in the next video.